Hey guys, this is Emily Laney for Top Music. Today I have five speed tips about how I'm doing video lessons very quickly and easy to scale in my studio. And I've been using these when someone misses and they're out sick, but also right now it's a great time. You can use these tips as you're maybe moving a whole studio online because of coronavirus and you're, you're wanting to make adjustments. But the key is you need to find a way that is simple enough to do it and it's also low cost where you don't have to go and buy a lot of complicated and expensive things to use. Remember, I think about doing this over and over every day and you wanna conserve your energy and make it doable so you're not staying really late after lessons. Okay, here's my five speed tips. Okay, number one, use a planner system of some sort. Now, I love pen and paper, so I'm using an actual one page paper planner for my whole studio. That way I'm not wasting any mental energy trying to recall what the Monday person at five o'clock is playing from week to week. I like this one from Knock Knock. It's got everybody's to-dos. If you're digital instead, you could check out Evernote. That's a great one. Do use the planner, it will cut minutes off of your prep time. Okay, number two. After I've gone and figured out what I'm going to teach in this video lesson or online lesson, I'm gonna write a menu board on the whiteboard. This is one of my secret tips. I use as much visuals as I can because we have young learners that a lot of times are just sitting there. We want to draw them in with visuals. So writing their name and then a menu and this is great if someone is with them they can write notes on a planner and we're gonna say hey today we're playing hang 10 Abby. We're gonna have wave skipper and a challenge piece. Abby you're gonna find this in your lesson book, which is yellow. So find that, and it's great, that's where I will show them, or maybe open a page and show. My number three tip, my props. I always have a couple of things handy that are easy to pull out and grab, and also easy to pack away. This is my number one favorite prop. It's a plastic keyboard, and it's just so great. If I need to point out a starting note for a piece that's perfect, or spell a chord for an older student, point out what's changing, this is so nice. It's a lot easier than switching with an overhead camera or, you know, hold on while I find this. This is so easy and portable. My other favorite props, and limit yourself. You only wanna rely on maybe three favorites so that you don't get clutter building up. I love my note cards. I'll say, hey, this piece is starting on C. Can you find C on the piano? Use your right hand, and we're gonna start with our thumb. So that's one of my prompts. Another one, if I have young learners, I'm loving colorful things that they can look at and we can talk about. Hey, what's this note on your piano called? Or I might take them off. What's the missing letter? For older students, another prop I use. Maybe a little older. These are still elementary type things. But we're finding notes and it's helpful to have that, uh, just a cheap printable that you can show. But that's nice, I can point things out for them or ask them questions. Okay, my number four tip, TPR. So if you're, you've got all of this space on camera and you wanna use as much of it as you can with your hands, you wanna say you're listening. Can, you, can I hear you play on your piano? Did you understand? what I just said. And that's so much more engaging than flat Stanley. I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm just talking to the camera. Um, also burying the space is really good on camera tip. So I'm leaning in, I'm, I'm remembering to smile. That's a great one. And these are just video tips, but they really help, especially your young learners, just to tune in and have more fun. And they learn better if they're more engaged. Okay, and number five, some of the gear. If I'm recording something for a video I wanna save, I will get out more of my, my um, go-to gear with my laptop and lighting. But for a video lesson or an online lesson, I wanna keep it more simple so that I can put it away if I've got people coming in to the studio live. So for that, I love to use an iPhone or just any phone with a decent camera. And instead of a plug-in setup mic system, I'm just using a Shure mic these days. It's really great. This one goes right in with a lightning port. Super quick to set up. 
and it's got a wind block, wind screen there, and the cutest little Shure mic. I love this thing. Sound is very good. It's a, lo a lot better than your iPhone mic. Also, it could go into an iPad if you have lightning port. Those are great. The reason it saves you time is you can get a bendy clip and position that very quickly and then just tuck it away if you want to get it out of sight. It's a lot faster than moving your furniture. Okay, so those are my five tips again, and I'll recap those. Have your plan ready to go for the student. Use a board as a visual cue for them, and it helps keep you on track. Um, number three, have your props handy and ready to go, but easily to put away and cheap. And number four, have TPR so that you're engaging your viewer as much as you can. And number five, have simple gear. And these are great. I have scaled down my videos so I could do more of them and have more fun. I have a bonus tip. My bonus tip is for my older students and they are not going to have a flip a page in a lesson book kind of lessons. They might have something much more complex. So what to do for this? I like to have an extra plan in case plan A doesn't work out with their big repertoire, something else to do that's fresh. Or if you ever get a student that's just had a rough day, this is what to do. I've started using these one page printouts from Top Music. When they came up with this, I was really excited and I used it the first day they put it out. This one is Epic Sus Chords and it's free. I'll just put it right down below. You can grab it too. It's nice. Use it for an intermediate or an advanced student. And we could just go through this and have a really great lesson that's improv and creative and I'm not having to worry about their repertoire or if they have not practiced, that kind of thing. Those are great. You can find those updates regularly in our pro membership, but here is a free one for you to get right away. Thanks for watching, bye. Hey guys, if you enjoyed today's video, then please make sure you click to subscribe. And if you're a music teacher looking for help with any aspect of your teaching studio or business, then make sure you check out topmusicpro.com for all our membership details.